the visionary art collector, businesswoman, philanthropist, and rancher. Anne Marion began life blazing a trail with the Cowboys on her family's legendary property, the Four Sixes Ranch in King County, Texas, and went on to do the same thing in the art world and throughout the many charitable and cultural institutions to which she dedicated her time and energy. Along with her husband, John L. Marion, Sotheby's eminent chairman and auctioneer in the 1980s and 1990s, Anne built a private collection of works spanning many categories. But at the heart of the collection is a monumental group of abstract and pop masterpieces by the leading names of American 20th century art. Anne housed this collection in her Fort Worth home, designed by I.M. Pei. She brought the same all-encompassing spirit to her choice of works that she brought to riding, roping, and overseeing oil drilling operations on her vast grasslands. The most important thing that ever happened to me was growing up on that ranch, she said. It kept my feet on the ground. She was born Anne Valiant Burnett Hall, the great-granddaughter of Captain Samuel Burt Burnett one of the greatest cattlemen of Southwest America and a friend of President Theodore Roosevelt. Anne inherited the ranch in 1980 and would eventually manage some 275,000 acres. But art was another family tradition. Her mother collected paintings by Georgia O'Keeffe and Anne studied art history at university. Anne Marion's collection reveals her innate fascination for the bold and the new. She was variously but similarly attracted to the candid color planes of Clifford Still, Richard Diebenkorn, Kenneth Nolan, and Sam Francis, the gestural strokes of Franz Klein, the squeegee innovations of Gerhard Richter, and the pop explosions of Warhol and Liechtenstein. The works offer up intriguing connections to their collector. In Andy Warhol's Elvis Two Times, Presley is seen shooting from the hip as a Western gunslinger, the son of a Texan rancher, in a still taken from the 1960 film Flaming Star. While, as one critic noted, the jagged rough-hewn works of Clifford Still powerfully recall the vast landscapes of the American West. Anne Marion's philanthropy proved as expansive as the vistas on her ranch in her broad artistic tastes. With her husband, she founded the George O'Keefe Museum in Santa Fe, and for 40 years, she presided over the Burnett Foundation, giving more than $600 million to support various causes. In Fort Worth, she supported the Marion Emergency Care Center and the Kimball Art Museum and crucially was the principal benefactor behind the construction of new galleries for the city's Museum of Modern Art. From selecting Tadio Ando as its architect to her gift of 150 works to its permanent collection, she became the museum's guiding force. As President George W. Bush noted of Anne Marion, she was a true Texan, a great patron of the arts and a person of elegance and strength. The widescreen Texan landscape she helped preserve and the epic commanding art she retained for future generations to enjoy remain a testament to those extraordinary qualities. Music